What's up you lot? We're at Woven Bike Park, a bike park that's very, very special to me. It's where Matt and I grew up riding, where we learned to jump, we learned to corner. We have spent years of our lives here. But the reason I'm here today is something a little bit different and something very exciting. In my hand is the brand new Ace Pro 2 Insta360 Action Cam. This thing is brand new from the ground up and is packed with features, which for me as a mountain biker is gonna make my life very easy and very exciting. Straight out the box, this thing looks sick. It's got a brand new lens, Insta360 have teamed up with Laker, global manufacturer of premium lenses to bring you the widest field of view with their one by 1.3 inch sensor. It's 157 degrees of POV, wide angle loveliness. And as a mountain biker, you wanna see your hands, you wanna see your fingers on the brakes, you wanna see your front tire. You also wanna see the person you're following and the jump that you're coming up to or the corner. You wanna see everything. So this camera straight out the box is gonna be able to do that. And I'm excited to try that out today along with a load of other amazing features. You can see straight away that there's a brand new microphone on the front. This thing's got AI technology in there that's going to get rid of background noise, which is so important. Maybe not here at Woburn where the trails are pretty slow, but when you go somewhere fast, you're screaming, you're shouting, you're excited, and all you can hear is muffling from the wind. This is gonna get rid of all of that. But before we mount this and go riding, look at the two and a half inch flip up touch screen. The touch sensitivity on this is better than my iPhone. It's so nice to move around and to be able to see yourself when you're in vlog mode like now. Hello. Is ideal, although looking at myself, probably could have got rid of the bed hair. Now in terms of setting this up, this goes up to 8K, but I'm gonna use 4K today with varying levels of stabilization. I'm gonna go for standard to start with. You can do high stabilization, which is probably better for mountain biking, but because I'm mounting this to my chin, your head acts as a natural gimbal. So I'm gonna get a slightly wider field of view with a standard stabilization. Most mountain biking is in the woods. It's rare that you're somewhere like Red Bull Rampage is beaming down with sun and there's loads and loads of light. And this camera is the market leader for low light recording. So I'm gonna go for the pure video mode, which is gonna help with this slightly lower light. We're gonna have a really wide field of view. We've got 4K, which is plenty for YouTube. And let's see what we can do right now. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to stay close. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I'm gonna watch that back. That was wicked. <laughs> How close we got? Yeah, boy. You got so loose here. Yeah. <laughs> sick track, isn't it? It's short and sweet, man. I've got this cool jump at the end, and I'm gonna put the frame rate right up and film Neil do it and see if we can slow it right down and still keep that quality, which isn't something I've been able to do with other action cams. So when he comes down, we'll see what happens. We'll stick it back in pure video mode because the light in these woods is pretty dark. But fair play, Neil. Sweet. <laughs> Onto another track. <laughs> Into the gully. Get the power down, Luke. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's so slick in here. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh yeah! Oh, I've never done this one! A little local gem! Yeah, <laughs> yeah Neil! Yeah, boy. <laughs> Another cool little feature. Typically, you'd have to unscrew this to get an action cam off your helmet if you want to do any handhold filming. But with these little magnetic mount clips, you pinch them on the Insta360, off it comes and you're in vlog mode again. Which means you can walk back around and look at the big hip, which is one of my favorite jumps at Woven, and hopefully what we're gonna ride now. Doesn't look like loads of headroom up there. 
The running looks good, I think. Big hip. Yo. <laughs> again. Here we go again. So good. If you just want to film your buddies riding, you're a little bit far away from a jump, you want to zoom in, flick it back into normal video mode and just double tap on the back of the camera. You'll zoom in, catch all the action, can zoom straight back out and carry on with what you were doing. So first impressions then of the Ace Pro 2, really, really impressed. Obviously it's pretty dim on a day like today and the camera's kept everything bright, the field of view, especially jumping that hip earlier to be able to see the bike and all of the action and following Neil to see him in front. That's exactly what you want from an action cam, especially as a mountain biker, when you wanna see everything, including your arms. The tracks here aren't that fast, but I'm excited to go to a big bike park like W Bike Park, get up to speed and just see how good this audio algorithm really is. I'm a vocal rider. I like to talk to you guys when I'm riding and especially when I'm crashing. So to have no background noise and just hear me, the bike, and what's going on is going to be really, really sick. There's a few mounting options I didn't get to do today. I want to try chest cam. I'll probably put stabilization mode on high for that. But as you saw, just on standard with that big field of view, it was super stable on the chin, which is where I really like mounting it, especially for YouTube videos, which is what I'll be using this camera for all winter long. So I'll see you very soon. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see these cameras online, have a look for yourself, head to the Insta360 website. But until next time, cheers for watching all. Bosh.